Just go. Just right. go. Good morning, Parachelle. Today is Friday, March 26th, 2021. I'm Miles. And I am Jason. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. Surrender to what is, let go of what was, have faith in what will be. Sonia Riccati. Today we are featuring Aaron Manger's capstone on lawyers. Aaron, woo! Oh, hello, uh, everyone who's watching this. Uh, this is a video about my capstone project. Uh, first off, I gotta apologize in advance for all this noise. The frogs are out. Um, I couldn't find a better time to film this because I procrastinated a lot. And you're probably seeing this the day uh, after I filmed this. Um, there's a good moon, if you want to see. But the topic of my capstone video is the, um, the different kinds of lawyers and what they do. I created a project, uh, which was a brochure that went over four different kinds, which were the criminal defense attorney, or no, not, not just criminal attorneys in general, which includes criminal defense and prosecutors, um, the bankruptcy attorney, the personal injury attorney, and the intellectual property attorney. So I gotta go through this quick. So the um, criminal attorneys, there are two types, the defense and the prosecutor, which are, um, I explained earlier. Uh, the defense defends the accused while the prosecutor does the opposite and uh, finds a sentence for them. They argue in court and then they ultimately determine, are they guilty, are they innocent? And if they're guilty, what is their sentence? Um, and now for the bankruptcy attorney, I really like this one because it was pretty interesting, and um, I usually thought, like, oh yeah, they're just gonna say, um, oh yeah, this guy should not be bankrupt for this reason, or something like that. But it turns out that they can actually, like, file all your paperwork for you, uh, and they can create a debt relief plan if you need one. Now, the intellectual property attorney, um, they help you with copyrights and trademarks. So they can do two things. They can help you... Um, keep your copyright respected by others and they can help you uh, keep from infringing on the intellectual property of others and the uh, personal injury attorney uh, these are extremely common because people get injured uh, all the time and uh, if you have a good one you can uh, get out of a lot of medical bills which are really expensive and I think that's all the time I have here uh, have a good day Eat at Muyaz tonight to help support the senior class of 2021. Come to Muyaz in stores between 3 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. so you can go right after school if you want to. And make sure you mention Parish Hill when you order. They have vegetarian options too, so don't let that stop you. That, sound, that yeah. sounds pretty good. Honestly, I think a, milk, a pretty good vanilla milkshake and some cheese fries sounds pretty good. But boys, it is the last day of Spirit Week. The grade with the most participants by the end of the week will be considered the winners. It also gives you a chance to get your picture into the yearbook. Today is Freaky Friday where teachers dress as students and students dress as teachers. And if I see a teacher wearing headphones, I'm going to have to scold you appropriately. Now, before we get into anything else, we have Kyle review on Nomadland. Oh. Hello, Pirates. So as part of my Oscar coverage, I will be talking about each of the Best Picture nominees, giving my review on them. And today I'd like to talk about the first of the eight, and that's Nomadland. So No Man Land tells the story of a woman in her 60s, played by the incomparable Frances McDormand, who hits the road and lives her life as a nomad in a van after losing everything in the Great Recession, telling a powerful story of loss, adventure, and self-discovery. There's a lot to love about No Man Land, and one of those very big things is Chloe Zhao's masterful direction. Um, an example of this would be her decision to use real nomads to play fictional versions of themselves and build her ever-changing screenplay on their stories and personal adventures. Zhao also edited and wrote this film, two areas the film very much excels in, spearheaded by an intimate and moving performance from Frances McDormand. The cinematography is some of the best of the entire year. It's 
Uh, cinematographer Joshua James Richard hitting it out of the park with intimately beautiful scenic shots throughout. And remember, this is a story as a woman goes through the Midwest. It's just a lot to love about the way it's shot. The criticism I personally have is that I just wish that the story had done more to develop the main character. Um, this is a story that's really a great big adventure, and towards the end, I, I almost felt, especially in my first feeling, just like it, we didn't really go anywhere, even though we went somewhere, if that makes sense. I um, wish a little more was done to that extent. However, it is still a gorgeous film that will surely inspire feelings of wanderlust in everyone, and I personally give it a 9 out of 10. Um, it's currently streamable on Hulu. I would recommend it, so definitely check it out. It's a big Oscar contender with uh, one of the things that you will be seeing Oscar night is Chloe Zhao winning the Best Director Award. It's gonna happen. What do you guys think about Nomadland? If you have any questions or want to talk about Nomadland, be sure to get... Uh, Just cut him off. All right, we're cutting him off. He talks too long. All right, quickly, sports. Um, last night, the boys' basketball team lost to Aerospace in a crowd boys' basketball constellation game. End of the season for them. That's pretty sad. Um, tonight, the high school girls' basketball team play the crowd girls' basketball tournament championship as they take on Capital Prep at 5.30. The game will be live-streamed on our Parachute News YouTube channel. Also, high school softball practice begins tomorrow at 8.30. Practice for high school baseball track begins on Monday, March 29th after school. I feel bad for you softball girls, but deal with it. Um, lunch, build a burger with cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion with tater tots, and for the day, still, what even is for the day? We'll never figure that out. And in part, remind to, to all teachers, the news can be found as a public live stream on the YouTube channel, so you do not need to rely on the email. That is all, Parachute. Have a great day. Bye-bye.